Welcome to another Idea Pro tutorial, and in this video, we're going to show you how to set up DKIM. G Suite that we recommend to everyone basically gives you the MX records that you point your domain at to make the email work, but that's where they stop. There's more configuration that's needed, like DKIM, SPF, and DMARC, to really make sure that your emails get delivered to the recipient that you've sent them to. We use Amazon Web Services, so I'm going to be logged into Amazon Web Services to change the DNS of our hosting. We're also going to need to be logged into our G Suite admin console. So here we're logged into AWS. And here we're logged into our email address that has admin privileges on the G Suite account. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to access manage this domain. So if you're logged into your Gmail account, your G Suite account with admin privileges, you click on the settings button here, go down to manage this domain and that's going to open up a new tab into your G Suite admin console. Okay, so then inside of your admin console, we're going to click Apps, G Suite, Gmail, and then we'll scroll down to Authenticate Email. Okay, so this is the box that you see. Now, herbisonfoundation.org is just a domain that I've owned for a little while and don't really do anything with it, but that's what I'm going to be setting up the DKIM on today. Now, here we're logged into our AWS console to be able to edit the DNS. Again, it should be the same where you set up the MX records when you configured G Suite. Now G Suite offers a tool, if you go to Google, and search for the G Suite toolbox, should be the first one here. This is a toolbox for your G Suite account. Now we're going to check our MX. So this is the G Suite Toolbox Check MX page. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in herbisonfoundation.org and we're going to run checks. Okay, so now it's finished. It shows that there are some non-critical problems detected. Now it says non-critical, but to me these are still critical. These, these keep your email from getting to where they need to be. So here it says DKIM is not set up, DMARC is not set up, and there should be a valid SPF record. So we're going to go through each piece of those, and when we're done, we should not have any errors or warnings on this page at all. Okay, so we're going to go back to our AWS. We need to create a record set, and the first thing we want to fix is our SPF record. That's probably the most common and the quickest and easiest to fix. Now I have my notes up here, I keep these notes and I'll put these into the description of the video. The SPF record for Gmail, AWS offers an SPF which is Sender Policy Framework. So we'll post this in here and basically this is the telling that Google can send email on our behalf. So I'll link, I'll put this in the description if you use G Suite, this is the same SPF record. If you use another service provider for your email, then you need to find out what the SPF record is for that and there's generators out there that can help you. So we've selected SPF, we've pasted this in here and we're going to hit create. Now the SPF record is kind of new, the SPF type I should say, is kind of new. It used to be you just put it in as a TXT record. So we're going to do that also, just to make sure. 
So now we have an SPF and a TXT record so that Google can send email on our behalf. Having both of these records in here are not going to hurt anything at all. All right. So the next thing we're going to configure is DMARC. DMARC is basically just gives the email servers an email address that they can send a report to if an email address has failed or passed. So we're going to hit create record set. We're going to add this as a TXT record. And then here on my notes, I have this copied here. And I'll link this in the description. This is basically the same for everyone other than you're going to change the email address here. So for this, we're going to change it to donations at herbisonfoundation.org because that's the only email address that I set up for this account. Typically you would use support, uh, email support at, uh, info at, something that is not going to be inundated every day by a report coming in from Google and Yahoo and you know other email service providers. So with that, we're going to do underscore DMARC as the name. So it's underscore DMARC.herbisonfoundation.org. It's a TXT record. And then this is the configuration of that TXT record. Hit create. All right. So now we have our DMARC set up and our SPF record set up. Now we're going to set up the DKIM. So we're going to go back to where we we're at with authenticate email. And we're in the domain here. It's the only domain we have. And we're going to click generate new record. Now in this section, it asks for the key bit length. Most servers are only going to support 1024. So we'll select 1024. We can leave Google as the selector here and hit generate. So now it's going to generate this key for us. So we're going to copy this Google dot underscore domain key and we're going to create a record set and we're going to call it a txt record. In the name we're going to paste in Google dot underscore domain key which gives it the Google dot underscore domain key dot herbisonfoundation.org. It's a TXT record. So we're going to come back over here and we're going to copy this value, which is the key. And we're going to paste it in here. And we're going to hit create. So now we've created a DKIM, an SPF, and a DMARC for our domain. Now these settings should go in fairly quickly and we can come back over here and check this. So let's put in herbisonfoundation.org. Sometimes these take a little while to propagate. All right, and that's what we're looking for. No problems were found with the configuration of this domain. There's an effective SPF record, domain, all, everything checks out on this page, and this is a, a good tool to check to make sure your email is working correctly. Hope this video helps you configure your email to make sure that your recipients receive the emails you're sending. See you in the next video.